Hey everybody, it's Cooper here, and welcome back to the last pickup video in this current house. As you can tell behind me, I'm in the process of packing, and most of the stuff is, are, you know, in the boxes back here, so um, no interesting background for this one. And this isn't going to be too long of a video, um, but I wanted to get this stuff that I have here in a video so that I could box it up and not have to worry about keeping it separate or anything like that. So, like I said, this is going to be the last video from this house. Um, I don't know I don't know when exactly you're seeing this because I have a lot of videos that are scheduled to upload. So, most likely by the time you see this, I'm already living in the new house and I may have already even filmed a pickup video, another one by this point. So, not exactly sure, but let's just jump into it. First up, I got a lot of Disney Infinity figures and I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, but I picked these up from a Goodwill and they were $3 each. So we have Darth Maul, Han Solo, Kanan Jarrus, I don't know who that is, I'm not familiar with Star Wars too well, Darth Vader, Ezra Bridger, Poe Dameron, Dameron, and then also Marvel's Vision, and then a couple Skylander, Picked up Hijinx and I Small. These are all little minis, double packs. And then Bop and Terabyte and Drobit and Trigger Snappy. So all of those were $2.99 each. Then I also picked up this Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed Tails, uh, Miles Tails Prowler. And it's this little figure here. I picked this up from TJ Maxx for $3.99 and I just happened to be in there with my girlfriend and her parents and we were just killing some time before we had something to do and so I was just looking around and they had one of those in there which I wasn't expecting so I grabbed that. My girlfriend picked up a pop figure for me and we have a few of these but this is my first one. All the ones we have are, you know, they're hers. Um, they're all like Harry Potter ones so she picked up a Street Fighter Ryu figure for me, which is pretty cool. And then I picked up all of the new Amiibo that came out, so these are all the Super Mario series, so we have Donkey Kong, Daisy, the Glow in the Dark Boo, which is probably the coolest one, Waluigi, another very cool one, then we have Wario and Rosalina. And Diddy Kong. So those are all of the, at least most of the figures that I picked up from a Goodwill for 99 cents. I also picked up this Sonic figure, and this is like Were Sonic, I think, like a werewolf version of Sonic. And then I for also for 3.99 I picked up this Mega Man speaker, and it's got a headphone jack and a USB plug on there. I haven't plugged it in or anything, but I thought that was pretty cool. I think it's like a loot crate item or something. Um, then, and these are really in no particular order. Um, everything is just kind of in a box here. Normally I'll separate everything out, but um, I bought a bunch of stuff from, <clears throat> from someone over Facebook who uh, has watched my videos, and we've talked a few times through Facebook, and they contacted me letting me know that they were selling off some of their collection and was asking if I was interested. So, um, I just pretty much told them I'll just buy everything. And, yeah, so this is what I got. First up is a, an Ace Combat Assault Horizon Limited Edition Music Soundtrack. This is sealed. Then, I picked up the Pokemon To Be A Master uh, CD. And I already have this on cassette, so having it on CD as well is pretty cool. Then, <clears throat> a 3DS game, Mario Party Island Tour. I didn't have that one yet. And a couple original DS games. We have Flash Focus, Sonic Colors, and Sonic Rush. All games I didn't have. And then... Um... These games actually didn't come from him. I believe I got these from some regular Goodwills. So for two bucks, I picked up Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius for the GameCube. 
uh, for, I believe this was $2.99, that's a sealed copy of Call of Duty 2, big red one, for the PlayStation 2. I'm really sorry about the glare. I've got my computer, my computer right down here, a light there, a light there, and the windows right behind there. But, uh, Call of Duty 2 sealed. Then, We Fit You sealed, this is a standard edition. I already have the, the one in the big box with the, with the whatever little thing. Uh, but this one here was just the regular game, and it, this was five bucks at a value village. And I picked up Marvel Superhero Squad Cosmic Combat. Um, I don't remember where I got this, but it was only a couple bucks. And then Jeopardy for the Wii sealed. All these are sealed. And then this one was uh, three dollars, I believe, at Goodwill. Same with this one, Deepak Chopra's Leela Body Mind Spirit Play. A weird title. I already have this game opened. I found a complete copy at the outlet for a quarter, but this one is sealed and I paid three dollars for that one. Um, I believe also this is back to getting the, from the, the stuff that I that I bought from that guy on Facebook. We have a Nintendo 3DS lanyard here. And then also a Dreamcast VMU and a PS1 memory card. I don't think this was from him, but the VMU was. Also, there was a cartridge of Tetris, which I needed to complete the original Game Boy uh, in the box. I think I showed you guys that one or two videos ago, but I picked up an original Game Boy in the box, missing the Tetris game, so got that to complete it. Then from Target, I picked up uh, three packs of Legend of Zelda trading cards, and I picked up one of each pack, and I'm just planning on keeping these sealed, although I think it'd be pretty cool to go for a full set of these cards. It looks like there's like 80 to 100 or so. Um, and it might be something that I might look into doing, but for now I just got one of each pack to keep sealed. So there they are. There's red, blue, and green. Other than that, they're pretty much the same, but still pretty cool. Then... Uh, some other games here. These are four original Xbox games, and I got all of these from Goodwill as well, from different Goodwills, so the prices fluctuated a little bit, but this first one was three bucks, that is Zapper, One Wicked Cricket. Then we have Sid Meier's Pirates, Live the Life, this one was also $2.99, and these are all complete. Also $2.99 was Second Sight, and then this one doesn't have a price tag on it, but it was probably three bucks as well. That's Wallace and Gromit Project Zoo, which is like a $10, $15 game, so that one was cool to get for 3 bucks. And then, um, from a Goodwill for $2, I also picked up a sealed Game Shark Lite disc for the PS1. And then, I believe this one was three, 2 or $3. That's a sealed copy of FIFA 2001 for the PS2. From our goodwill and then back to the stuff that i bought from the guy on facebook we have a complete copy of guitar hero aerosmith for the wii i already had this game but then i got the big box with the guitar which was missing the game so i put my copy of the game in there so i bought this just to have the standard version again and then everything else except for one item i believe is from that facebook purchase so Going back to that, uh, we have the Pokemon Deluxe Essential Handbook. And the one item that I didn't get from him, I'm going to save to the end because that one is a little special. So, <clears throat> there's one Genesis game that is Tyrants Fight Through Time. And, you know, all these games are complete here. Then he had an opened copy of Rodea the Sky Soldier for the Wii U. The only copy that I had was sealed, so I wanted to get this one so that I you know, didn't have to open mine. And then also, he had a sealed copy of Star Fox Zero in the big box with the Star Fox Guard game. Excuse me. Uh, I already bought this game and I was keeping mine sealed. And this one had a sticker on the back here, which I took off, but it left behind some sticker residue, so I decided to open the games in here so that I'd have an open copy and a sealed copy. Then he had two Dreamcast games, <clears throat> Crazy Taxi and Sonic Adventure. 
Then there was this Mad Cat's Twin Skin Pack for the Game Boy Color, which is sealed. And this is normally something that I wouldn't keep, but I thought it was kind of cool, so decided to hold on to that. Actually, there are three items for the end that I didn't get from him. I didn't see him at the bottom. Actually, four. I'll show this one. The Minecraft card game. I picked this up at the Goodwill outlet, so it was like 50 cents. This is opened, but... And then... So, I got a bunch of Game Boy games here. Uh, Game Boy Advance games. These are all complete. First up is Operation Armored Liberty. Then Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Then Connect Four, Perfection, and Trouble. Then Bionicle Heroes, Monopoly, The Koala Brothers Outback Adventures. This one doesn't have the cartridge, and I already have a sealed copy of this, so I'll just, whenever I find a cartridge, I'll put it in here to have an open one. And then there was a box only, this is a display box for Metroid Fusion, which is pretty cool, it's got the for display only down there. I already have this game complete, so I'm not too worried about trying to get a cartridge for this one. This is just a display box. So let me move those out of the way. And then the last three items. So that was everything from him. Um, and if you're watching, thank you very much. I appreciate it. There was a lot of awesome stuff here to add to my collection. And then the last three items here are all 3DS games. And these were all picked up uh, from games. Actually, two of them were from GameStop. One of them, which is the one I'll save for the la for, for the end, was uh, purchased through the the developer's uh, web store. So the first one, I finally got my copy of Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse, and this is the one that comes with the little metal pin set. I have a feeling that they probably all will come with those, but it was supposed to be like a special edition kind of thing. That's why I pre-ordered this, and um, I didn't realize that it had come out. GameStop never called me. Uh, back in September, so I had to wait like an extra month to get this because they had to order another one for me um, But this is still sealed. I'm not planning on opening it uh, But that was still pretty cool and then the other one which is more of a real collector's edition is Corpse Party back to school edition and this one is still sealed, but I also have it in an extra little protector here and So this is a 3ds game and it comes with these little figures in the back the little protector that I have on here is kind of like overlapped and taped and everything, so it's making it a little hard to see, but there's two figures in there, and uh, this is a rated M game, and it's called Corpse Party, and it comes with two little schoolgirl figures, so pretty weird title to be on a Nintendo system, um, but still very cool. Uh, I did pre-order this one, and I don't know if you can still find the Back to School Edition or not, but cool collector's edition. And then the last one... I picked up from the uh, from the developer's web store, like I said, and <clears throat> I bought one game from them before from their store, and that was Final Fantasy Explorers for the 3DS, and that was the limited edition that was only available through their web store, and that was the same deal with this one, and because I had bought the Final Fantasy, I had like signed up for their email newsletter kind of thing, so I got an email about this one many, many months ago. I think that I pre-ordered this probably six or seven months ago and you know finally got it and um i looked i looked back at the website after i received this in the mail and it was completely sold out and that was the only place you could get it so i'm thinking that this might be kind of rare um i've seen them going for more than what i paid on ebay already but um for a 3ds collector this is definitely a must-have that is the collector's edition for harvest moon sky tree village and here is the front of the box. No text. It's only got the logo on each side and the top. So there's the front, and then there's the back. And I think that that is so cool. The bottom has got a little bit of text on there. I think that's so cool, though, that they don't have, you know, a bunch of writing and text all over it. It's a really simple, plain, uh, really awesome-looking box. I'm really sorry about the glare. Um, but, yeah, I think that's so cool. And like I said, it was only available for pre-order through their website. You couldn't get this at GameStop or anything like that. Um, I also got the the uh, the packing slip for it here, which I decided just to hold on to. I threw out the one from the Final Fantasy game, um, and I not that I think this is going to add any value or anything like that, but 
I think it might be cool just to keep with the game, just to remember that I did get it through their website, and I pre-ordered it and all that. So yeah, that's it for this pickup video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this is going to be the last video in this house here. And so the next pickup video that you guys see will be in my new game room. And you'll get a little glimpse of it, you know, in the background, uh, you know, to hopefully tide you over until I do a new room tour, which should be sometime uh, early 2017. I don't know exactly when I'm going to be doing it, but I want to... I need to build more custom shelves and get everything set up like that. So uh, it's going to take me a little while to do all that kind of stuff, but I want to make it look good and I want it to be how I want it to be before I do a room tour. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.